Children of Blood and Bone is an African fantasy novel written by Tony Adeyemi. It's about the oppressed Magi people slowly crafting an uprising to defeat the malevolent king, Saron. Although powerless, a young Magi named Jill begins sparring with her pompous rival, Yeme, a match that will ensure their position in the eventual rebellion. Chapter 1 Jill Yemi clears her throat at the front of the gate here, a not-so-subtle reminder that she already passed this test. She smirks at us as she twirls her hand-carved staff, eager to see which one of us she gets to defeat in our graduation match. Most girls cower at the prospect of facing Yemi, but today, I crave it. I've been practicing, and I'm ready. I know I can win. Mom Agba's weathered voice breaks through the silence. A collective exhale echoes from 15 <sighs> other girls who weren't chosen. The name bounces around the woven walls of the reed at here until I realize Mama Agba called me. Really? Mama Agba smacks her lips. I chose someone else. No! I scramble to my feet and bow quickly. Thank you, Mama. I'm ready. The sea of brown faces parts as I move through the crowd. With each step, I focus on the way bare feet drag against the reeds of Mama Agma's floor. Testing the friction, I'll need to win this match and finally graduate. When I've reached the black mat that marks the arena, Yemi is the first to bow. She waits for me to do the same, but her gaze only strokes the fire in my core. I clench my jaw and bow, making Yemi's insufferable smirk blossom. Was that so hard? Yemi bows again for good measure. If you're going to lose, do it with pride. Muffled giggles break out among the girls. <laughs> Quickly silenced by a sharp wave of Mama Egba's hand, I shoot them a glare before focusing on my opponent. I push my shoulders back and thrust my chest forward, straightened though I needed to bend. She thinks because I'm a diviner, I'm beneath her. She thinks I'm going to lose. Bow, Jill. The warning is evident in Mama Egba's voice. I can't bring myself to move in the crowd of diviners at Nord with snow white hair. Diviners who have been forced to bow to those who look like her time and time again. Zeal do not make me repeat myself, but Mama, bow or leave the ring. Listen to Mama Agba. Be a good little maggot. And there it is, that word, that miserable degrading slur, whispered with no regard, wrapped in that arrogant smirk. Before I can stop myself, I thrust my staff forward, only a hair from Yimmy's guts. I'll take one of Mama Agba's infamous beatings for this later. But the fear in Yemi's eyes is more than worth it. Hey, though Yemi turns to Mama Agba to intervene. She doesn't have time to complain. I twirl my staff with a speed that makes her eyes whiten before launching into another attack. This isn't the exercise, Yemi shrieks, jumping to evade my strike at her knees. Mama! Must she fight your battles for you? I laugh. Come on, Yem. If you're going to lose, do it with pride. Rage flashes in Yemi's eyes like a bullhorn lion there, ready to pounce. She clenches her staff with a vengeance. Now the real fight begins. The walls of Mama Agba's Ahir hum as our staffs smack again and again. We trade blow for blow in search of an opening. A chance to land that crucial strike. I see an opportunity when I stumble back and hunch over. Wheezing as nausea climbs up my throat. I force air into my lungs and use my staff to stand up straight. I'm okay. I'm not done yet. Jill, Mama, starts, but Yemi doesn't wait for her to finish. She speeds towards me, hot with fury. Her staff only a finger's breadth from my head. As she rears back to attack, I spin out of her rage. 
Before she can pivot, I whip around, ramming my staff into her sternum. This is only a sample of Children of Blood and Bone. If you like tales of suspense and the works by Tony Adeyemi, then visit your local library or bookstore.